What's up YouTube? I'm Tech Steve and on today's video I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your files from your iPhone over to one of the new 11 series. I decided to go with the 64 gig Pro Max just because I like the three camera systems and it actually is the same size screen that I'm using now. Today we're going to be using the iCloud so make sure you have your Apple ID with the password, your password for any applications, also your password for any emails, enough storage on your device and probably about an hour and a half to two hours of time to make sure that you get everything up and running. With that being said, sit back and relax, let's get into it. Before I show you how to move everything, on a side note, I just want to say how far has Apple came since the first iPhone? Here's when the original iPhone 4S is, and it's hard to believe how far the Apple has developed their technology. Now I know a lot of people like Android, which I do as well, but, but for people who like iPhones, this is pretty incredible change, how progression of technology has got us to the next level. So I've been thinking about making a video how to use this iPhone 4S for one day. I don't know if I can do it. But anyway, let me go and show you how to get your files moved from your old iPhone over to your new one. The first thing we need to do is prep your original phone by going into your settings. Under settings, go to general, then go to software update. If you see an update, go ahead and update your software to the newest version if possible. Then go to iPhone storage. The reason for doing this, if you own a 128 gig or 256 gig model and you just purchased a 64 gig, you will not have enough storage to move your files over. But if everything matches and you have enough space, go ahead and hit general. The next thing we want to do is make sure you have all your files backed up. At the very top, go ahead and press on your profile name and it could be different if you have the older software. Press iCloud and make sure you have a checkbox besides everything you want to back up. Once you have that, go ahead and press Apple ID to go back. Now scroll to the bottom and look for your device on this list. Now if you're changing your SIM card, you need to disable Find My Phone, but if you're not, you can leave that turned on. Next, press on iCloud Backup. And if you haven't backed up your phone already, make sure you hit the backup, and it could take from 10 minutes up to a couple of hours, depends on how fast your internet is. Once the backup is complete, you'll get a time down here so you know it's ready to go to restore your new phone with the current backup. Now let's go ahead and restore your brand new phone. It needs to be factory reset it, so make sure that you went in and cleared everything out. If you need to factory reset, go to Settings, General, scroll down to the bottom and then press on Reset. Erase all content and settings. If you haven't backed up, you can back up and erase or erase now. Select your language. Select the country and region. Press on Setup Manually. And then log into your Wi Fi. Press Next. And if you have a SIM card in your phone, it will take a few minutes to activate. And here you can set up your Face ID if you like. Create a passcode just in case your Face ID doesn't work. Now you want to restore from the iCloud backup, and this is going to be based off the backup that we just created on this phone. Now you need to enter your Apple ID and password. For security purposes, I got a pop-up on my other iPhone, so I need to click on that, and then go ahead and put in that code. And then here's the code I need to enter. Read through your terms and condition, then hit agree at the bottom. Now I want to choose the backup that I just did tonight. Press on that. You would need to use the location service if you plan on using maps or applications that are geotagged. You can set up Apple Pay if you like. You can customize Siri. With this setting, you're choosing if you want Apple to use your data to improve the service or phones coming out in the future. That's completely up to you. And now the phone will start restoring from iCloud. Now this process is two-staged. The first one is going to download the files it needs. It will reboot and then when it comes back up, after you log in, it'll start downloading the applications and resetting the phone back up. At that point, you'll need to have all your passwords to log back into your accounts, or you will no longer have access until you reset those passwords. Now that iPhone has completed the backup, let's see what we get. 
Now, the first thing I noticed is that it popped up no SIM card because I haven't installed it yet. And then I'm getting pop-ups to enter my password for all my email accounts. One thing I do notice is the structure is reinstalling just like I had before on my other phone. And this is why you have to have the iPhone enabled so it can download everything right away. Here's screen one. Here's screen two. Here's screen three. And here's screen four. If you have WhatsApp or something like that, you will need to go ahead and back up and restore that as well. But for everything else, all you need to do is just log back in like you normally would and you're good to go. So I hope this video gives you a general understanding of how to get your new iPhone 11 up and running. Don't forget to put a case on your device as well to protect it because these phones are a lot of money. In fact, this phone was $1,200 after tax, so I definitely want to protect it and uh, make sure that it's running good. But I have a lot of more videos that gonna come out on the Apple 11 series, but if there's anything in particular that you guys wanna know, or if you're having problems with this backup restore process, because again, there's a lot of details that you just can't put in the video because the video would be two hours long. But if you have any questions, make sure you leave that in the comments below. And like all my videos before, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.